Hey, what is up YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. And today in this video, I'm gonna be doing some requested art from my commenters in my previous video. It's kind of a two for one type of thing. I have one of my commenters who are asking me to draw a different styled image and doing more of an action pose than my traditional style where I just have someone just looking directly at me. So I'm gonna be doing that in this video. And I have another commenter who is asking, how do you draw people at different angles? So I'm gonna give great examples in this video, but let's jump right into it. So one of my viewers was asking me, how do you draw people at different angles? And in the comments when I was replying to him, the best way how I could describe it was either having a really good reference or you might frown upon this, but it actually is very good practice until you get good at your own self is tracing. And I cannot tell you enough how important it is if you're not very good and you want to improve your art and you know, a good stepping stone would be tracing your image. For example, if you want to draw different angles of people or whatever, then I would use the 12 o'clock reference. Now, having something like this on the side while you're creating your work or if you're going to be tracing it, it can really help you out. It can really boost your productivity whenever you're creating something. And at the beginning, you always should start off by doing your basics. And this is one of the basicest things you can do while creating your characters at different angles. An example would be for the two images that I'm going to be drawing in this video, I have a really great reference that I'm using to be able to draw these. And with practice, you can be able to just draw them off the top without tracing them like how I'm doing right here. I'm just drawing them off the top with my reference on the side. And it really does help out when you're just practicing, trying to better yourself in your own creative way because it does take practice and time and I mean if you look right here my image is looking very alienated it looks very weird but that's just how it is when you're first beginning out making your characters in these weird awkward angles doesn't matter what position it is it's gonna look weird because body parts are gonna intersect with each other when you're doing your skeletal form and so at the end of that you really just got to just figure out what you want to delete or erase whatever type of format you're doing this on and just figure out what things will look like and the cleanup process is all a part of the whole entire thing that you're doing and you just got to take your time and just look at your character as you're going and it really depends where you start usually with me I always start with the base and the torso and I work everything out from there and I always use the the circle and the triangle method and I can twist and skewer it whatever way just to show what position might be where I want it to be and you also have to keep in mind for distance for this in particular pose her left arm is sticking out in front of her and it starts to get wider as her back arm is now going way behind her and it gets smaller and tapers off near the end and so you also have to pay attention to those type of things when you're making your character it's very simple just tapering it off or just making a part wider and more broader and that's what you got to look for when you're making your characters at these angles and again I cannot stress this enough make sure you clean up your character as you go because you don't want it to get too messy with all the lines and stuff becoming jambled up all the circles all the the tubes and the, you know the everything that's in the way you don't want it to get too jambled up where you you might forget where things are at or maybe it might become disproportionate just because this um, part of the body might look a little bit longer than the other part uh, so make sure you just clean your, your character up as you're going and as you can see there I was just cleaning it up and then I'm just going over the outer line of the body and I'm gonna add a couple little details here and there and that's what you really got to do and I hope I was able to answer your question about the whole entire body angle. I know that you're asking me to do like the boondock style, but I don't really draw in the boondock style. I did it once just for like a head and that was it. And I haven't touched back at it in ever. And so sorry about that, but this will be my example to you. Hopefully this does explain it to you. And I am now going to move on to the next sketch that I have going up. All right, we are now moving on to the next sketch I got going up, and this one's gonna be more focused at the other commenter, the homie named KG. Um, one of my good followers on YouTube and following everything that I do, giving me extra, extra good feedback and stuff on my videos. Absolutely appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Um, and you asked me to start doing more 
more uh, characters at different angles and stuff like that. And I commented back on you and told you that I usually don't do that. I usually chop off my characters at the legs and stuff like that. And I just told myself maybe I should because it can add some good diversity to my characters. As you can see here, for this sketch, I'm going to be doing a character hanging on a wall, a rock climber, if you will. I draw like a little bit of a rock climb background near the end of the video, and it looks really cool. And it just comes out very well. I do my basic stuff, my basic dominant style drawing. Start with the base circle and then do the triangle. And those really do help me out a lot if you're actually learning from me or if you're just enjoying my video. Um, either or much appreciate you to your support and as you can see here it comes together very easily and fast and simple um, and uh, I don't know why I'm not doing it more I guess I've just been lazy because I don't like drawing legs mainly it's because I don't like drawing feet uh, I, it, I've always had an issue on what type of uh, like, like shoes to draw if I'm gonna draw them with shoes or if I'm gonna draw them with, like skin tight clothing like jumpsuit and uh, just never really gave it too much thought and just usually took the easy way out by drawing my basic characters showing more detail up close in certain sections versus this and that now one of my main focuses for this particular sketch um, as you can see I always draw like little side notes on the side of my images whenever I'm drawing them uh, the main focus for this one was uh, joint length for example you can see my arms I have drawn up you want them to be the same size that's the key thing um, or same length now uh, it doesn't matter for size but length is very important because you don't want one arm being longer than the other and it all depends on how you draw the well I always use like the tube or the lemon method whatever you want to call it and um, that's what I use and if you make one longer than the next then it can make it very unproportionate as you see my character's arms they um, they match up very well for lengthwise if you look at the intersecting body parts that I've drawn in them and it just works very well and again do not be afraid to have references for example I am having a reference for this image uh, just practice it I know like I was saying earlier I usually don't draw my characters like this and it's usually because of the feet and sometimes I get my legs wrong I might, I might draw them a bit too thick or a bit too skinny or maybe one might be uh, positioned awkward and so um, I should really just practice on my legs and draw the lower half of the body maybe I should do like a whole entire segment of just lower body half drawings and stuff and just figure out how to draw them in weird stretching positions jumping and stuff like that and just better myself and practice it but um, that's what I got to do and I appreciate your feedback that you've given me KG it's all good and um, near the end of the video I decided to throw up in the video uh, for Annie Monday to pick either this one or the previous one to see which one would you guys want me to finish up to finalize for Annie Monday so it's two different images you guys can pick on so you can categorize it as the rock climber and the sword fighter um, and so yeah that's pretty much it as we're now wrapping up the end of the video hopefully I was able to answer some questions to anyone who also might have similar questions that's the uh, what I can best I can do for this video and hopefully you guys enjoyed the content but it is your boy diamonds here at common sense graphics hope you guys you guys like the content rate comment subscribe all that bullshit but your boy out